What's up everyone? So round two. Got the snap-on half inch CT9075. Brushless impact. First V6 Honda crank pulley bolt. So the last time we took off a four-cylinder crank bolt and it had no problems whatsoever, but I saw someone say that there is no way it could do it on the V6. Well, this is definitely a V6. They did not make a four-cylinder Odyssey. Although these are really nice. If you ever have an opportunity to drive one of these, the Elites are really nice. And they have a really big TV in the back. So, round two. What do you think? Think it's going to do it? Or is it just going to fail epically? And the only tool on the planet that can take this bolt off is a Milwaukee. But we will see. So, here we go, round two. Oh, look at that. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. So, now I gotta torque that back on, so that's gonna be loads of fun. But, as you can see, it's still holding up pretty well. I actually came across a weird issue with this thing. And I noticed none of the other impacts that my Snap-on guy had, the other CT95s, had this issue. So apparently it's just mine, and I'm going to have to send it off to get them to fix it. It doesn't affect the actual use of it, but... So, you have, you know, these two different directions you can go. But then if you push it in the middle, it locks the trigger. Except on mine, when you do that, the trigger goes down and then slides out and then boop. So that's a problem right there. So now the trigger falls off. And like I said, none of the other ones I've seen, which he had like 10 or 12 of them on the truck, and none of the other ones, so I just got unlucky and got the one that the trigger pops off of. But So that's something to look out for if you do get one of these. I mean, it'll go right back on and no problem whatsoever, but but it is still aggravating that the trigger pops out. So that's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to stay in there and not pop back out. But so far, that's the only issues I've had. I haven't used it a ton. You know, I don't really use it to take lug nuts off. That That's strictly for the Milwaukee Mini Impact because it's so much lighter and I don't feel like lugging this big heavy thing around all day unless I've got some major bolt that just won't come off and then break this out. Plus they haven't made a boot for it yet. So I'm just gonna end up destroying the front of this thing. But so far so good. One slight defect, which is not, it doesn't affect the way it's used. You know, no, it's not like stopping it from working or anything, it's just a little aggravating if you happen to pop it off which the only times it's ever popped off is when I was trying to pop it off but other than that battery life is actually really good on this thing like it I, I don't think I've charged this battery you know I charged it when I first got it but I don't think I've had to charge it since I don't think so it's it's holding up really well I do like the fact the light stays on the older impact, when you pull the trigger, the light would only stay on until you let go of the trigger, and then it would go right back off. Whereas this one, you pull it and it stays on for a while, which is kind of handy if you can't see where you're going. But it's also, this thing's really, most of the uh, little friction rings are really loose on the snap-on and power tools. They'll just pop off, but this one really locks on. So that, they've changed something with that as well. You know, that one, Milwaukee does pretty good. But one day I'm going to review that one next. This thing's, eh, you probably already know, this thing's an absolute beast. It's the best 3 8 impact ever made. It's on the heavy side, but still the best 3 8 And is this the best half inch? Uh, I don't know yet. Still working through it to find out. So you guys like the video if you liked it. Thumbs down if you don't. 
you know, subscribe. I'll make more videos. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And next time, maybe that impact. We'll play with that one next. Anyway, y'all have a good day.